Okay, here we have an elastic string with one weight attached at one end, and the length from the knot there to the weight is going to be, so the natural length will be 20 centimetres, or 0 0.2 metres. Okay, so now what we've done, we've hanged this piece of rope up, which is 20, and now we've got an extension, we can see here the extension, because it was the original length was 0 0.2 metres, and it goes down to there. So first of all, we'll be trying to calculate what that extension is supposed to be. And then what we're going to do is we will pull it down to another further six centimeters. Okay, and what we're going to try to calculate is the acceleration just as I release it. So let's do that one more time. I'm going to pull it down further six centimeters, and this will be point R on my diagram. And then I'm going to release it. I'm going to calculate the acceleration of the weight upwards. Now let's have a look a bit more carefully what we've got here. So this is part A. So here we have my weight. The original length is going to be... We've got G, we've got point P, and this is up here now the point Q. And the original length here, the natural length, is 0 0.2 metres. This is the extension that I'm going to calculate in part A. I'm going to have the tension going upwards, which is T1. And I'm going to have the weight acting in the opposite direction, which is 0 0.12 times G. I'm going to take G to be 9.8 metres per second squared. In part B, I'm going to pull this weight down a further 6 centimetres, 0 0.06 uh, metres to the point R, so that QR is 0 0.06. So this is the natural length. This is the extension. And this is me We're going to pull it down a further 0 0.2 metres. So the important thing to realise is that the total power of x, you're going to apply Hooke's law in part b, is going to be x plus 0 0.06. We're going to have try to calculate the acceleration that, that, that is released, goes back up. We're going to have a different tension caused by the uh, stretching here, according to Hooke's law. And we still have the same weight, 0 0.12 times g. So the question is, a light elastic string is fixed at one end P and a mass of 0 0.12 is attached at the other end Q so that it's in equal level, equilibrium at vertically low P, P. So originally it's going to be here in part A. The natural length of the string is 0 0.2 metres, i.e. 20 centimetres, and the string modulus of elasticity is going to be 6 newton. Find the extension of the string to the nearest centimetre, so we're going to have to calculate the value of that distance there. The end Q is then pulled down to point R, so the weight is pulled down to point R, which is there, where the distance further pulled down is 6 centimetres, 0 0.06 metres. The mass is then released from there, it's going to go upwards, we've got to find the initial acceleration of the mass. So for part A, We've got the tension acting upwards, T1, so we're looking at the point Q here, and the weight acting downwards, which is going to be 0 0.12 G. At point Q, the mass was in equilibrium. Therefore, resolving vertically, we're going to have that T is going to be equal to 0 0.12 times G. Applying Hooke's law, and Hooke's law says T is equal to the lambda, which is the modulus of elasticity, times the extension x divided by L, which is the natural length. G is going to be 9.8 meters per second squared, so we're going to have 0 0.12 G, which is the tension, because it's equal to the weight at that point, is equal to 6 times the extension, what I've got to calculate, divided by 0 0.2, and if I rearrange that, I'm going to get that x is equal to 0 0.0392 meters, it says to the nearest centimetre, so we're going to take that to be 4 centimetres. Right, in part B, it's now been pulled down to this point here. The string has been further stretched, it's been stretched at 0 0.06 metres, so that the stretch is now, the extension is now at x, which is 0 0.04 plus 0 0.06. And we need to calculate this new tension, the value of the new tension when we do that. So, the new extension is 0 0.04 plus the further bit that I pull it down, 0 0.06. This is the, the initial 
extension if I just let it be in equilibrium, then I have to pull it a further 0 0.06. That's equal to 0 0.1 meters. Applying Hooke's law, T is equal to lambda x over L. So T2 will be 6 times 0 0.1, the new extension, divided by the natural length. The natural length was 20 centimeters at 0 0.2, so careful with the units, which gives me exactly 3 newtons. Now we now resolve this, but remember it's not in equilibrium, we're going to let it go. So it's, we have to apply Newton's second law, which is F is equal to MA. F will be T2 minus MG is equal to M times A. So it's going to be 3 minus 0 0.12G is equal to 0 0.12 times A. A is what we're trying to calculate. So A will be equal to 15.2 meters per second squared when we initially release it. Okay, so there's been a, a video to show you how to calculate initial acceleration once we pulled down an elastic string and released it.